So not everything is allowed right. by the universe. Right. Okay. Certain things are allowed and certain things are not allowed. The admin the admin exposed some parameters that are doable, yeah. but it's like not not yeah. not all of them. Not all of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um we can think about motion. Okay. Okay. I'm doing some experiment. And then I put my experiment on a spaceship that is moving at a constant velocity. Hmm. Actually, according to Galilean relativity and later Einstein's relativity, in my spaceship, I can't do any experiment that tells me if I'm moving and somebody else is stationary and so on and so forth, right? If both of our experiments are exactly the same, I can't tell who's moving and who's stationary. All I can say is somebody is moving relative to me. That was the big, you know light bulb of Einstein to say that that's actually true. What are the consequences of that, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> that's something called a Lorentz transformation. So that's that's a symmetry of the universe. The fact that I can boost myself into a reference frame where I'm moving in a constant velocity, mm -hmm. but my laws of physics won't change. On the other hand, you can think, okay, what about if I'm rotating at a constant angular velocity? Is that a symmetry? What that means is if I'm in a spaceship, Yes. That's that's just let's say stationary, whatever that means. And I do an experiment and then I put myself on a rotating reference frame, for example, the Earth. Yes. Right? But take out gravity. Yeah. Would the experiment be the same? The answer is no. No. The answer is no. And I mean, you, have you been to Griffith Observatory? Yes. <laughs> have you seen the big pendulum from the from the ceiling down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's called Foucault's pendulum. That's a great example of a pendulum that is behaving differently because it's on a rotating reference frame. Because it's on a rotating reference frame, the pendulum is going to rotate within itself, itself and knock over those little tiny yes. uh, thingies yes. and like show that the Earth is rotating. That was one of the first big you know, proofs. The rotation makes it so that if the pendulum starts going from 12 to 6, as the Earth rotates, it's now going from 1 to 7, yeah. 2 to 8, exactly. whatever it might be. Yeah, exactly. And it goes at different it, it goes at different speeds based on how far up you are on the Earth in terms of um, latitude. Yes. You know? Yes. So that is not a symmetry. Right. Okay? Like, the fact that I can just, like, I can't just take my experiment and start rotating it at a constant velocity. I can turn it and then do stuff. stuff. That's That gets me angular momentum. Mm, but I can't, like, constantly so rotate. be rotating. Okay. That's so interesting. Right? Yeah. So 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 yeah. these